Hello everybody, welcome to Trans e-learning physics videos. Today we'll discuss about fundamental units and in that we'll be covering the topic concept and explanation related to fundamental units. This is the second video related to concept and explanation. So let's see what all topics we'll be covering in this video. In this video, we will be discussing about the need for more number of basic units. In the previous video, we have discussed about three basic units and in this video, we will discuss about what is the need for more than those three units. Then explanation of seven basic quantities and their units of measurement. So let's start. First of all, what is the need for more number of basic units? As you can see here that I have written three fundamental quantities that is mass, length and time and as we discussed in the previous video their fundamental units are kg, meter and second. Now with the growth of the scientific techniques and knowledge over the time uh, it was realized that these three units cannot be used to describe all the known physical quantities. If I take an example of light as well as current, so if I have to write the units for light, I cannot express light uh, in kg or I cannot express light in meter or in second. Same goes for the electric current. I cannot uh, write electric current in kg or in meter or in uh, say second. I cannot use this units for light as well as electric current. What should I do? Which unit should I use for light and which unit should I use for electric current? In order to solve this problem, four more units were introduced by General Conference of Weights and Measure in year 1960 as fundamental or basic units. That means after year 1960, there were in total seven units which were considered as fundamental units as per the SI units that is international system of units. We have understood the need for more number of basic units. Now study all the seven units in detail. Fundamental quantities and their units. First of all I will discuss the three uh, fundamental quantities and the units and then after that I will discuss the four more fundamental quantities and the units that were introduced in 1960. Apart from that there were two complementary units that were introduced. So first of all the basic three fundamental quantities which existed initially. Mass. What is mass? It is the amount of matter present in an object and the fundamental unit for mass is kilogram. Here I have taken some object which has some mass so we can measure this mass with the help of the balance. Next is length. What is length? It is the extent of something from end to end. Uh, if I uh, take this as an initial point and this is at the end point of any rope or uh, any thread or like that, then uh, this uh, whole line is considered as length. So that means it is the extent of something from one end to the another. The fundamental unit for length is meter and I have shown here the measuring tape as an image for measuring the length. Now time. What is time? It is the duration in which event occurs. The fundamental unit for time is second and here I have shown stop watch which can be used to measure time duration in which event occurs. Now apart from that mass, uh, length and time, the other four fundamental quantities that were introduced were temperature, luminous intensity, electric current and amount of substance. So let us study them. First of all, temperature. What is temperature? Temperature is nothing but it is the intensity of heat present in an object. Fundamental unit uh, used for measuring temperature is Kelvin. I have shown here an image of a thermometer which is used to uh, measure the temperature in Kelvin. 
as such we can use the Celsius unit but here I'm talking about the fundamental unit so we will consider Kelvin next is luminous intensity what is luminous intensity it is the power of light flowing out from a source here you can see an electric bulb and the power of light flowing out from it is known as luminous intensity and the unit in which luminous intensity is measured is candela the next is the electric current what is electric current it is the flow of charge per unit time and the unit in which electric current is measured is ampere here I have taken an image of a instrument known as a meter which is used to measure current last fundamental quantity is amount of substance what is amount of substance it is the number of particles present in a substance so if I take a one bag and I have some particles inside it so these number of particles present inside the bag is uh, known as amount of substance and the fundamental unit uh, used for measuring amount of substance is mole mole cannot be measured by an instrument so I've not shown any instrument here here I have just shown an image of an atom it's because uh, atom is uh, also a collection of protons electrons and neutrons so now we have finished all the fundamental quantities let's talk about the complementary uh, quantities and the units the two complementary quantities that were introduced were angle and solid angle and uh, uh, what are these let's study them first of all angle what is angle it is the space between two intersecting lines when we are talking about an angle when the two lines are intersecting as you can see here so that uh, part where, where these lines intersect is known as an angle and the unit in which angle is measured is radian the other one is solid angle what is solid angle it is an angle in three dimension so when we take the angle in three dimension in 3d space then we call it a solid angle and the uh, fundamental unit associated with this is steradian so we have finished the discussion about all the fundamental quantities as well as the complementary quantities and the units associated with it so here is the recap or you can say the review of all of them at one go quantity is length the unit is meter and the symbol is m as you can see here the quantity is mass the unit is kilogram and the symbol is kg as you can see here the quantity is time the unit is second and the symbol is S here the quantity is temperature the unit is Kelvin and the symbol is K here luminous intensity the unit is candela and the symbol is CD electric current the unit is ampere and the symbol is A amount of substance the unit is mole and the symbol is MO L complementary units the quantity is angle the unit is radian and the symbol is R A D solid angle the unit is to radian and the symbol is S R as you can see here so that was all about the seven fundamental quantities thank you very much for watching this video for more videos you can visit our website transelearning.com have a great day